Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a video about two devices that you could call as budget flagships or you could call them as premium devices for not so premium prices. So we are talking about the Oppo Reno 2Z and the Vivo V17 Pro. Some of you had this question about these two phones, about the comparison of these two since they have landed in the market for exactly the same price that's 30,000 rupees. So we thought let's compare these two and check out uh, what are the major differences. This video is mainly about the differences to let you know which one actually should be your choice. In case you have a budget of 30,000 rupees and are looking for a phone that doesn't compromise on the specs but also offers you a great experience. So the Oppo Reno 2Z uh, was priced at 30,000 rupees and this was launched before the V70 Pro alongside the Oppo Reno 2. So uh, the Oppo Reno 2 is the actual flagship. This one does not have huge compromises either and it still is under the 30,000 rupees price tag. While the V17 Pro on the other side that's launched with 8GB RAM, 128GB storage and that was recently launched with a similar quad camera setup and there are quite a few good things on this one as well. But we felt uh, throughout uh, the usage of uh, these two phones we felt that the Reno 2Z has an edge over the Vivo V17 Pro and in this video we are going to let you know why. So to start with the design, uh, clearly uh, if you check out the designs of these two there's a camera bump on the V17 Pro and that's already something that I wouldn't uh, all any time like on any phone. Uh, Oppo has made sure that there's no camera bump there, but there's a little bump given only to protect the cameras. So this is a flushed camera setup on the back, the quad camera setup and uh, the Renault's design is always uh, different. Renault is always known for some amazing designs. This time they have this kind of a gradient design and that center line towards the center. It's not a light, it's a reflection that is made up whenever you project it against the light. So the design wise, I would say that Vivo isn't bad either but Vivo is nothing new. It still comes with a similar kind of design that you had already seen in the market on several other phones. And with the protection as well, Oppo has made sure that you get the Gorilla Glass 5 protection on both the front and the back of the device. And with the display, it's 6.53 inch display on the uh, Oppo Reno 2Z, the panoramic screen which is larger than the 6.44 inch display that is given on the Vivo V17 Pro. Both are AMOLEDs, no difference there. But it's a bit larger screen on this one and uh, the bezels still seem to be a bit, a bit bigger on the Vivo V17 Pro so the screen seems to be easily larger on the Oppo Reno 2Z. And with the comfort levels as well, the Oppo Reno 2Z is 8.7mm in thickness while the Vivo V17 Pro is 8.99mm in thickness and it goes over 9mm if you uh, actually check out the camera bump area. So that camera bump actually matters and is a bit annoying for me. Now moving on to the performance, both have a kind of a different chipset but Vivo V17 Pro still sticks to the same chipset that the predecessor had. So the V15 Pro as well had the Snapdragon 675 which is retained on this and that's kind of weird. For this price range you would at least expect if you are giving a Snapdragon processor you would have given a new generation one, at least the 700 series one. On the other side the Renault 2Z has the Helio P90 chipset from MediaTek. So this is the first phone actually and surprisingly this was the first one in uh, the Indian market to have this particular chipset and the performance has been good enough on both the phones. Uh, it's not uh, hugely different when we talk about the day to day usage but I'd still give the Reno 2Z a better point here because anyway with the development options we haven't seen Vivo's development also to be uh, on any next level. It's almost the same on development part but uh, the, otherwise the updates come on time. The day to day usage is almost the same even with the gaming both are the same. So with the performance I would say there's no clear winner in both of them but still I'd say that at least Oppo has done something that is first in the market. So Helio P90. The first one, uh, this one is the Oppo Reno 2Z. With the variants, uh, we haven't seen any variants. It's a single one, 8 plus 256 GB. So for the storage, already you have no issues with the Reno 2Z. And on the other side, the V17 Pro comes with 8 plus 128 GB for the same price. So 128 GB lesser, but that's not it. The storage expansion possibility is one other major aspect where the Oppo Reno 2Z is clearly a winner here. It has the dedicated micro SD card slot while on the other side the Vivo V17 Pro doesn't have a micro SD card slot at all. So that's one aspect which most of us actually miss out on but that is something very important to know if you are choosing a phone for a long term usage. So next to, uh, with the cameras both have uh, almost a similar kind of a setup for the cameras where there's a wide angle camera, a low light camera, also uh, a depth one. But the major difference here is that the Sony IMX586 sensor for the 60fps of 4K recording is present on the Oppo Reno 2Z while it's the Sony IMX582 sensor on the Vivo V17 Pro. Not just that, the software optimization done alongside the hardware on the Reno 2Z makes it possible for the ultra shady videos. Also this other thing that's the ultra dark mode or the night mode that is called on the Reno 2Z 
which actually takes much better detailed photos in pitch dark conditions so we have some samples attached here for you and these were exactly taken at the same time there's no changes to the light we have tried to take these photos when there's almost no light unless there's one source towards the background or of it so that at least some of the details can be read but here the results were quite surprising we could easily see that the Renault 2Z took much better low light photos so with the cameras again uh, with the possibility of what you can take in the video part that's okay but also with the photos in the low light conditions the Renault 2Z is a much better choice now with the selfie camera one part is that both of them have uh, the same kind of uh, setup for the selfie camera that's a pop-up camera or what you call a rising camera on the Renault series so uh, the Renault series has a single camera or the Renault 2Z has a single side front camera while the Vivo V17 Pro has a dual camera. So one advantage that the Vivo V17 Pro holds here is the, for the wide angle selfies. And that's the only part I guess in the entire comparison we feel that that is missed out on the Renault 2Z. But otherwise it still looks cool. Uh, if you uh, are okay with the single camera you can see that it has those uh, colored animations or the uh, colored pop-up camera which is uh, the LED light that uh, flashes out which is not present on the Vivo V17 Pro. So uh, in a way, that's the only compromise on the Renault 2Z. Otherwise, if you're okay with the single camera, I would still say that the selfies seemed quite similar on both of them. Now, the final aspect is the battery life, where it's a 4000 mAh battery on the Oppo Renault 2Z, it's a 4100 mAh battery on the Vivo V17 Pro. With the battery life, we have seen that both of them offered almost six hours of uh, screen on time. There was no difference, 100 mAh doesn't make a difference at all. While with the fast charging, there's certainly that difference and it's faster on the Renault 2C. 20 watt support versus 18 watt support on the V17 Pro. So the 20 watt support for 4000 mAh battery is obviously going to charge the phone faster when compared to the 18 watt support for the 4100 mAh battery. So this was the overall comparison of the Renault 2Z versus the V17 Pro. These were the major aspects where we felt that the Renault 2Z was actually better than the V17 Pro and for the same price when you're getting those things like the dedicated micro SD card slot and also similar performance no difference uh, there as well and uh, uh, the base uh, variant of the storage uh, being higher there itself and also a better build quality a better comfort a better display as well so every aspect i would say that the Renault 2Z was leading except for that dual selfie camera option here so that's it in this comparison i hope you like this video if you do do share and subscribe to give some time for more thanks for watching and see you next video